it's getting really, really bad. I'm just going to read something to you. And I get a lot of people who want to know the links to where I get this stuff from. So I decided to do this from the link so you can have it if you want to go check it out yourself. McDonald's worker shot over cold fries has died. The Brooklyn McDonald worker who was shot in the neck in a spat over cold fries has died, cops announced Friday. Matthew Webb, 23, succumbed to his injuries after he was shot Monday outside the Bedford Stedford uh, fast food restaurant where he worked, the New York Police Department said. The attack has been deemed a homicide. The force said early Friday, stressing that the investigation remains ongoing. Michael Morgan, 20, has already been charged with attempted murder and criminal possession of a loaded firearm for blasting Webb in anger at his mom getting served cold fries. He was expected to, uh, to face upgraded homicide charges. Prosecutors told a court hearing Thursday, even before Webb's death was confirmed. This is the gentleman right here. This is Matthew Webb, the guy who was shot in the neck over the cold fries. Webb was toiling at the Fulton Street eatery on Monday evening when Morgan's mom, Lisa Fulmore, complained to workers that her fries were cold and asked to speak to the manager. When the workers began laughing at her, Fulmore was FaceTiming with Morgan, who came to the restaurant and got into a fight with Webb that spilled out onto the sidewalk. Morgan punched Webb in the face, and when he got back up, he pulled out a gun and blasted him in the neck, prosecutors alleged. All right. All right. I have talked about worthless people. I've talked about worthless people um, on and on and on. And, you know, many people in the comments have said, you know, every human has redeeming value. Every human being has worth. What is the worth of a man who would come to a McDonald's, get into a fight over cold French fries? I mean, this is where we are. This is where we are. People, this man died over cold French fries. It wasn't like this was a life and death situation, like in the movie John Q, where he took people hostage because he wanted his son to get medical treatment. It, it wasn't like that. Mm-mm. And, right, she was FaceTiming him while she was complaining. Let me go ahead and talk about why that was problematic, besides the fact that her son, who she was FaceTiming, decided to come to the restaurant and get into an altercation with the restaurant workers. All right. This is something that I, I continue to see. People do not know how to conduct business. When you're going to lodge a complaint, your first tactic should be, excuse me, I have a problem. May I speak to the manager? I am willing to bet that's not how this went down because she was on the phone FaceTiming with her son which means that her focus and attention was distracted. And I guarantee you one of the reasons that the employees started to laugh at her is because she wasn't conducting herself in a civilized manner. I am willing to bet money on it. So when the employees started laughing at her, her son got upset to the point where he was provoked to violence this is problematic in itself. If he just came to the restaurant and got rowdy, that would have been problematic by itself. 
But no, we didn't leave it there. No, 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 no. We took it up. We took it up to DEFCON 5 where we pulled out the jammy and flat blasted somebody. Apparently Webb was getting the best of him in the fight. And he, he couldn't deal with that. So he came down there, picked a fight with someone he couldn't beat. So he pulled out a gun and shot the guy over some cold French fries. This is where this started. See, here is the issue that I've been trying to put out. This is the issue that I've been talking about for the longest time. That we have a bunch of people in society that are worthless. They have no purpose. They're not constructive. They don't do things constructive. And they're just literally waiting for the opportunity to do something to someone. Just because they have nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. They're not trying to help out humanity. They're just here for other chaos and destruction. That's what they're here for. They're not here to solve cancer. They're not here to build allegiance. They're not here to help out their fellow man. These folks are hell bent on destruction and causing chaos amongst the ranks of humanity. I, I'm just sitting here because, you know, I, I'm like, if if I relate this to someone and said, hey, you know, this guy got caught killed over some cold French fries. The f person I would be telling this to would like, all right, he, he's got to be joking. This has to be a joke. Who would kill somebody over cold French fries? I mean, I really like like th this has been my situation. Um, fortunately, my service has been pretty good. Most of the places I go, uh, I've not gotten any cold French fries other than with DoorDash. And, you know, uh, let me tell you, like with DoorDash, if you're just displeased and you go ahead and put a complaint, they just give you your money back. It's pretty simple. But if I was waiting somewhere and I was waiting a long time and then they served me some cold French fries, I would like say, excuse me, um, I've been waiting for a while. And my expectations that my food would be hot and it's not, it's cold. Can we fix that? That would that would be the way that I would handle that. I wouldn't be going off on people. I wouldn't be talking down to people. Um, like I said, I wish this had been recorded because I guarantee you that the mother who was on the phone was conducting herself in a funky manner. And once again, most of the time when you're in a restaurant and you, you just are not getting good service, they usually will bend over backwards to accommodate you. Usually, like I said, once again, I have not had uh, problems with this level of service. I've not experienced that, so I don't know what that feels like. But I can say I would not be angry enough where I would um, want to put my hands on somebody where you can catch these hands. As they say in the streets, you can catch these hands. I, I, I would not really want to. I wouldn't be that angry that I would want to put hands on somebody because of some cold French fries. Matter of fact, the more I think about it, it would take a lot to make me angry enough to be provoked towards violence. It would just. I really cannot. Conceive of a situation. Where I would. Want to get rowdy. 
with someone and then go over and hurt someone. I don't know. I, I just, I'm just sitting here perplexed. I'm just sitting here like just bewildered to why someone would have to die over some cold french fries but once again th th this is the purview of the worthless people and with what we have going on from a social standpoint with our society it's going to get worse because we're producing these people i bet i'm willing to bet money if you were to do a criminal minds profile on the mother I guarantee you this is a product of a single parent household I, I'm, I'm willing to bet money money on this and this guy is dead because of some cold french fries he is dead dude is working at McDonald's and I I got a question for those of you, and please put this in the comments. If you are a fast food worker, because once again, like when this is my thought to the people who are serving me food, treat them nice, treat them respectfully, because these people are handling your food. <laughs> I have never gone off. Or been disrespectful to any fast food restaurant or server or anyone. Just that has never happened because these people are handling your food. That's crazy. You know how much get back? You know how much things can happen? These people are handling your food. These are not the people. That you want to be disrespecting. These are not the people. That you want to be messing with. These are not the people. That you want to be playing games with. Because they are handling your food. So as a general rule. I am never disrespectful. Or talk down. Or condescending to anyone. That is handling my food. Just general rule of thumb. Be nice to the people who are handling your food because you never know what could be going down in the kitchen where you can't see. You never know. So if you in the comments are a fast food worker or you've ever worked fast food, please let me know. Because once again, I have never worked in a fast food restaurant I have never worked in the food service industry. I have never worked hospitality. I don't know what it's like to be on the other side of the counter. All I know is when I am a guest in the hotel or and you know. As I look at it, look at it over my years of traveling and flying, I've never had a problem with a hotel a cab driver, Uber driver. I've never had a problem with a plane or, you know, the people checking me. I've never had a problem with these people. So from my standpoint, I have gotten adequate to superior customer service. So I don't know what it's like to get really bad customer service. And if I did have some bad customer service, this, this is what I would do. You know, and I'm putting in the comments if you're one of the people who are working on the other side of the counter because I know that dealing with the public can be interesting to say the least. But if I got some like recently, like, let me tell you, I, I got some bad customer service with Wells Fargo bank. And what I did is I wrote a letter to the CEO 
And they were real slow to respond to that. And then this is what happened. Uh, the Consumer fin Protection Financial Bureau, the CFB, I, I lodged a complaint with them. And once they got that complaint from the CFP, the uh, consumer, let me see. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Yeah. Um, a week after lodging the complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I had my money. You know, and then all of a sudden I've got all these letters and all these explanations and all this stuff. Because I was like, because once again, you know, I was doing this for when uh, the B School for Hustlers was Savage Finance. And when I was doing the Savage Finance content and I had uh, signed up for not one, but two Wells Fargo secured credit cards. And I wanted to get data points for the channel. And the only way that I can get first person data points for the channel is is to actually go ahead through the process. So I went ahead, opened up the account, and I put up the deposit, and I had two twenty-five thousand dollar credit, like fifty thousand dollars. Wells Fargo was just holding in my money, and they closed the accounts, and there was no mention or reference to when I was getting my money back. Never was mentioned. I got letter, I got statement. It's like, okay, where is the letter that's saying when I'm getting my money back? And one week after lodging this complaint with the Consumer F Financial Protection Bureau, I had my money back. And that's what I would do. I wouldn't go into a Wells Fargo branch. I actually went to a Wells Fargo branch because, you know, I went and it's like, when am I getting my money back? This is what I wanted to know. When am I getting my money back? When am I getting my money back? You know, you close the account. Big whoop. I don't care. I have other banking options. I'm not worried about that. Um. But it, that's what it took for me. And it's like I woke up one morning and I logged into the Wells Fargo and my money was back in the savings account. And then that day I went to Wells Fargo and closed my withdrew all the money out of my accounts and closed my accounts. So that's what I would do. I wouldn't be getting rowdy. I wouldn't be like you could catch these hands over some cold French fries. Come on, man. That's crazy. But once again, the thing with the worthless people is the flashpoint is very, very low, meaning it doesn't take much. So if you're an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or you work at McDonald's or you work in a hotel or you work in the airlines, tell me your side of the story. Because like I said, I have never had a job in that type of industry, so I don't know what it's like dealing with the public and i do know that some people can get extracurricular i understand that but yeah th this is what's going on with the worthless people this 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 20 year old man came down to defend his mother's honor over some cold french fries because they laughed at her and i guarantee you one of the reasons they were laughing at her because she wasn't conducting herself in a professional manner like how do you lodge a complaint when you're FaceTiming somebody? How do you do that? And that's the whole, that's how this whole thing jumped off. That's the flashpoint. So let me know your opinions. Let me know what you think of this. Cause like this guy has literally thrown his life away. He's going to do 25 to 30 years max minimum. And he's 20, so he may be getting out of jail at the when he's my age. He's my age. He may be he if if he gets out of jail. If he gets out of jail. Threw his whole life away for some cold French fries. Because see, this is the thing with the worthless people. There is no thought of the future. It's like What's going on right now is the most important thing in the world, and I'm going to govern myself accordingly how I see fit, how I need to get down. That this whole thing over some cold French fries escalated into a physical altercation, which then escalated into gunplay. This is why, like, 
you know, you, you never know what's going on. Like, if someone cuts me off, you know what I do? I just back up and get away from this person. Because you never know what you're dealing with. You don't know if, you're, if there's a worthless person behind the steering wheel. A worthless person behind the steering wheel will take you and out, wreck your car, wreck his car. Because they worthless. They don't care. They don't care. So, yeah, you know, you got to understand as we go forward in this society, and this is why the well-to-do are going to do everything in their power to separate themselves from these people. And many people, like, once again, and this may come across as somewhat insensitive, but I don't care. There is no way in hell that I would pay to live in a luxury apartment in a mixed income development community. I, no, 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 no. I, I would like, no, like, all right. So I'm paying like, you know, let's just say I was in a penthouse and I was paying $10,000 a month. And then they had some people in the building paying 500 bucks a month. I wouldn't live there because I know what's going to happen. I already know what's going to happen. But once again, let me know your opinions on the worthless people. Let me know your opinions on the cold French fry caper. I mean, as I sit here and I look at this and I, I, I run over this story like several times, I, I just I could not believe that there's someone now dead over cold French fries. I cannot believe that my mind is struggling to wrap itself around the concept that this happened. But once again, I typically stay away from worthless people and I would advise you to do the same. Because this is what can happen when you're dealing with worthless people.